God loves everybody. He doesn't want anybody to die. He doesn't want anybody to go there. But that's the problem. People don't really understand it. They think, oh, what are they talking about? What are they talking about? God, God doesn't exist, but he is real. You know, sometimes, ask anybody that are in Christ, their life changed. God speaks to his people. I may be walking on, I may even have a, or have said something wrong now. By the time I get home, you hear the knock. You should not see that. Because he controls the universe, he loves his creation. I am in Aberdeen and I've done some errands. I've got my my groceries for the couple of days. I've also booked uh, a train ticket to Iverness and I also booked uh, a Loch Ness tour. So that's going to be exciting. Just seeing how deep the ocean is. The deepest marina trench in the Pacific Ocean. This is my uh, favorite part about the museum, learning about this. In 1728, an unusual visitor arrived in Aberdeen from Inuk, which is the capital of Greenland. Once he arrived, he died a few days later because of dehydration. So this here was his canoe from here all the way to Scotland. Crazy. So what happened? A guy named Ollie Hicks and George Ballard did the trip 1200 miles. So right now I'm walking through Union Square Road, which is the main road of Aberdeen. The appearance of Aberdeen um, was exactly like this, all the way. Just these very stone buildings, very dull in colour. There's no colour in this town, it's just the same grey. Um, just a grey city. I just had a guy come up to me, he's like, tats me on the shoulder, he's like, what's with the pink, the bandana? I saw a guy with pink shoes, now a pink bandana, what's going on? <laughs> so we're just at Union Square, and we're entertained, here we go. 